Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to my channel, my name is Meek. Today we're gonna to be learning about setting the key of your chord strips to play different chord progressions and also how to customize and modify your chord strips. So this is a very cool feature. We're also gonna be learning about how to reverse this. So I'm gonna show you also how to reset and or change the key of your chord progression or a chord strip. That was a problem I ran into, that is why I'm making this video. So I love to make videos about problems that I have because I know other people are gonna run into it. So let's just get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start by creating a new track, of course. All right, so we're gonna to go to tracks. All righty, and of course we're gonna start with a MIDI track because that's what we need to play an instrument. So we're gonna to go to MIDI. Okay, now we're gonna find an instrument that we wanna use with our chord strips, okay? So where it says plug-in presets, we're gonna to go to that arrow that's going backwards because it's gonna take us to the different instruments. You might already know how to do this, but this is also for beginners. And actually, we're all beginners to Logic Pro for iPad. So I'm gonna you know, be as detailed as I can be. So where it says instrument and patches, we're going to click that and it's going to take us to our instruments and different patches. Okay. So under instruments and patches, you can get very specific about what you want to get to make your search easy. Here are all of the different instrument types you can see under the search magnifier. It says drums, percussion, synths, and everything. Um, I would just keep it smooth for this video. I'm going to just choose a keyboard. Okay, and I'm gonna click the first keyboard because I'm gonna keep it simple. So Steinway Grand Piano, there we have it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually set the key of our project. And this makes it very easy to change the chord strips and the key of the chord strips, okay? So it's gonna give you all of the chords within the chord progression of that key. So if we're in for say F sharp minor, it's gonna give us all of the chords that are within F sharp minor and some, okay? So let's do that first, okay? So where you see the key signature is gonna be right where the BPM and everything is right at the top in this box, okay? So where it says four fourths and it says C major beneath it, that means our project is in four fourths and the key of the project is in C major, which is very common, you know, most, and I'll say, I, I wanna say all because I'm not sure they all start off in C major and at 120, okay? So let's click that. And you can change your time signature here. You can make it three fourths if you want to waltz. I mean, you know, waltz it out. But we're going to keep it at four fourths because that's what popular music usually comes in, unless you're Alicia Keys or Aretha Franklin. Here, where it says key signature, that is where you can change your key to a major or a minor. And you can also change your key to something different. So, one of my favorite keys is C sharp minor. So, I'm going to go to minor. And where it says key, I'm going to click that C and it's going to take us to all of the different letters in which we can change it to, you know, from A to G. So let's change it to C sharp minor. All right. Now, this is the easy part when you um, start it off this way. OK, so we're going to go to our chord strip play surface and we get to that area by going to this piano symbol at the bottom right of our screens. You tap that. Okay, and then you go to this sick, this symbol of a piano. I live in a big city. Okay, you tap the symbol and it's gonna bring up our different play surfaces. So we want the chord strip play surface, okay? So we're gonna click that chord strips and it's gonna bring up our different chords, okay? Alrighty, so as you can see, our chords are in C sharp minor. These are all of the chords that are in C sharp minor. You can also go to this website called Auto Chords and it'll give you different chord progressions to play with any given scale. So definitely check that out. The way you change the chord progression and the key is to go right back up to the key signature at the top and you just change the key. So. Let's go to a B minor. So as you can see, it changed it to B minor. These are all the keys in B minor. Now we can change it to B major. 
Now, these are all of the keys within B major, okay? It changes automatically. It's very simple when you haven't customized your chords. So I'm gonna show you one more time and we're gonna go to F sharp minor. F sharp minor and B minor are very similar. So let's go to A flat minor, okay? And G sharp minor is our A flat. All right, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put it in F sharp minor, okay? And if you tap anywhere on the screen, it will exit out of changing the key of your project. So the way that you customize and modify these chords is you want to touch this pencil that is right next to the play button and it has this finger but it's going to be right next to it of course you can see it, it's right here and it's going to say edit when you touch it okay so if you wanted to change your chords you can do so so all you have to do is touch the chord strip all right and here you can change you know the root note if you wanted to you can also change the chord from major, minor to diminished, augmented, a fifth, a suspended two, a suspended two, I mean a suspended four. You can do all that. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it at A major. But what I'm gonna do is make it an A major seventh. And the way you do this, you can make it an A major seventh. It's gonna be A seven if you put it like that. So you wanna make sure it says major seven. And make it a major seven. This will be an A seven, which is a blues chord. Totally different. Let me show you this as well. All right, so this option where your bars are is gonna be right under the play surface symbol under this piano. You have these few lines, okay? The less lines that you see, that means the less, the less tones of this chord you have to play. So you can actually drag that down and it'll just be all bass. You can make it go up, you drag it up. Now you just got a bass, you got three. All right, you can drag it all the way up like this. And now you have more tones within that chord. So you can play high. As you can see, like this is the highest, the top bar where it says A major seven, that's the highest, you know, tone of a chord. These, it's, it's all of the same chord, it's just different tones and in different octaves okay see that's lower than the first one that's lower than the second one this third one this lower than the fourth one this lower than that one two three four five and then these are all bass notes down here okay you can reset this by of course push and reset and it'll go right back to what it was before you changed it but i'm going to put it back to a major and then we're going to just click on the next one. So when you have this chord modifier open, all you have to do is tap on the next one. And you can modify the next chord. So I'll make that a D major seventh again. This is G sharp diminished. So we're going to make that a G sharp diminished seventh. Okay. And then we're going to make this a C sharp minor seventh. F sharp minor seventh. B minor seventh. So we're gonna make these all sevenths and C sharp. And we're done. All right, and then to get out of edit, all you gotta do is press the play, which is that finger, and now you can play. All right, so that's super dope. Now, keep in mind that if you play um, a bass note, it's just a bass note, but you can play these bass notes along with the chord so it can give it some umph. So now this is what I want to show you. Now if you wanted to try to change the key of your chord strips after you modified them, you would have to do a little bit of work, okay? Because it's not as simple as just going to this key signature. So let's tap our key signature and changing it to, let's say, an A major. As you can see, it didn't change it, okay? This is how you would change it. So what you would do... Let's make it back to F sharp minor. All right. So what you would do is to, first of all, go up here to where your key signature is and change it to whatever key signature you want 
and the key. So we're going to make this a C major. We can go back to C major and we're going to tap on the screen to exit out of our signatures area. All right, so what you want to do is press this pencil again because we're going to have to do some editing. So you press the pencil and we're going to go to our chords and just do it this way manually. So what you're going to do is just reset all of them. So reset, reset, just touch it, reset, touch it, reset, touch it, reset. And now it's changing all of the chords back into the chords that are in the key of C, which is what we change it to. Reset, reset, reset. Okay, so we're going to go push play. And now we have chords that are in C major. But now also you can't just go back and change the key of your chords now. See, let's put it in um, C sharp. You see? Can't just do that anymore. So let's put it in A major. You see, it doesn't just change like it did. So you would have to keep resetting the chords. So let's go to edit. And we're going to reset. And now it's going to go to chords that are in A major. So you're going to have to do this, but yes, so you're going to have to manually change your key and the chords by resetting them once you've started doing any type of customization, like it's not going to just snap back. So just remember that. And that's what I wanted to show you. So I'm going to show you something else too as well. So if you want your chords in a higher octave, then this. All right. So what we're going to do is go to the symbol in the middle to add a plugin. All right, and we're going to go to where it says MIDI effects, where the plus button is, and we're going to go to the transposer. And if you click that twice, it's going to open, okay? So we're going to transpose our chords to be an octave higher. So the way I do that is, you know, go into the semitones. So it says zero, zero semitones. All right, we're going to manually put in 12, but you can move this wheel to change it, or you can tap that and then press 12. We'll put anything in it, but I'm put 12. Uh, raise that, raise that, raise that. 12. Done. All right, so now when we play C sharp minor, it's higher. And all of the, the chords, they're all going to be an octave higher than they were. See, even the bass is like higher. All right, we can also put it lower. So we can put it 12 semitones lower. Can put it 24. Let's put it at 24. Or negative. All right, so you put in, so where you put in negative any number, you put in whatever number you want to transpose your chords to. So I put in 24, and then you're going to plus where it says it's plus or minus option. That's going to make it negative. If you push it again, it's going to make it positive. So let's put in 24 negative and then press done and then it's going to be low thank you so much for watching i hope this helps you a lot